Hi everyone, this is Asim here. Welcome back to our channel. Hope you enjoyed the previous two SQL injection videos. Let me know if you want some more videos on that. I am trying to make videos on the verb suit labs and so a lot of like, these things would get covered there. Also, if you do like videos that I make, uh, which are usually on cyber security and ethical hacking stuff, like teaching people who are new to this, and even if some seasoned players are there, uh, there would be a few things that they would learn. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you like this video if you feel like, and stay with your colleagues and friends as to get a reach for this channel. So yeah, and for today, uh, we are gonna discuss, uh, I have a, like in this video kind of thing, so in this video, we are going to talk about web crawlers, user agents, robot.txt, and a few initial findings that we are going to see in this challenge. This is a realistic mission five, be the hacker series. So if you haven't checked other videos, please start with the first one. There would be a lot of content that might be new to you and you would learn as a, maybe as a bug bounty hunter or as a cybersecurity engineer, whatever you feel like. Also, there's a live stream that happened last month where I talked about cybersecurity jobs and a few questions were there about a few tools and setting up VPS and all those things. I'm planning to do another uh, like Q&A session or maybe a live stream, probably Monday or maybe next week. Sometime soon, it would be soon. I would be announcing that on my Twitter as well as on this channel. So yeah, this would be like a two part video. This is the first part. I already recorded a video there that was a full video that was around 15 minutes. So I thought I should break it down and that's why I'm recording it. So let's start with this. So this is the fifth mission that we're going to start today. And yeah, it's about ta telemarketers invading people's privacy. You could see that it, it says you have already completed this level because I have already. Now let's click on take this challenge. So it would show the, the space. So it's from Spiffomatic64. He says that he's a hacker himself. He hacked this website and deleted all the phone records because he was being pestered by the telemarketers there. But that was a temporary fix because they put the database back up and it's an encrypted password this time. He also tells that while he was hacked them, he noticed that they were using something that was 10 years old and they were using something called a message digest. So, I, I'll be talking about this message digest thing. And just a bit, let's complete this message first. So, I've done some research and I think it could be something like a so called hash value. So, this hash value and this message digest, so I'll be talking about in this next part of the video because they will be taking hashes, their usage, and uh, like in everyday where you would find these. And then we will be using Hashcat to track those hashes and we would also see some online services that would help us do that. I think you could somehow reverse engineer it or brute force it. I also think it's a good idea to look around the server for anything that may help you. So let's look. So this is the server. I'm choosing that because we'll be discussing it in the other video. Always uh, I check the source. So here are the three HTML files. Uh, HTML files, top, menu and main. There's nothing special here. There's one thing crawlers keep out of here. So to keep crawlers out, there's a thing called robots.txt. So robots.txt tells search engine crawlers which pages or files to crawl. Crawlers can or can't request from your website. So if you want that uh, none of the pages a web crawler should crawl, you would type it as no pages. So you type as no pages. Avoid all, like, avoid crawlers to crawl my website. So, what they would do is, uh, they would, you would add user agent star in, and in disallow star, and disallow forward slash. So, it would disallow any user agent for this, like, any, any, like, crawling any page of your website. So, user agent star and disallow. This is empty or this allow via yeah, forward slash. So this basically directs the crawler or instructs the crawler that you should not crawl any pages beyond this, like forward slash from this. So if you have placed this robots.txt in your home directory, 
so the crawler would crawl your website at all so there could be use cases for this where you would want that your website shouldn't be crawled and there could be use cases where you want that it should be crawled so for that you just need not place any more robots.txt there so that's pretty much and like if you are confused what a user agent is so it's basically a unique string that identifies your the person who is requesting it so like if like when this is a website where you could check your user agent so since i'm using brave and it's made over chrome so it's showing chrome 86 if i show you my firefox browser you could see that it's showing firefox 82 so this this whole string is the user agent and here in brave case this whole string is the user agent so it's basically a string which is sent in every request header so if you just open the network tab here and if i refresh the page so you could see in this filter oh sorry yeah so if i show this request here let me show it here so general uh, request so response headers and then there's this request headers. So you could see here user agent is Mozilla, Fire and this all things. So for Chrome or for Google bot and all those, there would be different user agents. And that's how websites identify that Google was crawling or Bing was crawling or Yahoo was crawling. Let's come back to the site. Let's open these pages in their own tab. Using this necessary tabs here. So this is the main.htm. Let's check the source code. So there's nothing significant here. There are no links here, nothing hidden here. Let's close this. There's this news page and then there's the login page. So this is the password probably that the person was telling that it's encrypted with the password. Probably that's what we need to figure out. Let's check the source code for this. So you could see that form action is secret admin.php. So there's a secret folder and there's this admin.php file where this password is being sent to. So that's what we have talked about. Let's check this. So here he talks about the new happenings on the website. So on 28 June, he made this website dedicated to his lovely girlfriend, Amy. Now the database is online on 28 June. On 15 July, website was hacked. Scriptformatic 64 probably. 10 September, new service purchase from Castle, get past Zap. On 15 September, Google is grabbing links, it shouldn't, so I have taken extra precautions. So we already read about robot.txt and how you could disallow these crawlers to do like crawling. So it was grabbing links, so we had taken precautions, so probably he had added a robots.txt. So we would check that out as well. The database is now available online, online again for administrators only. So only admin could go here. Let's check the robots.txt because we have seen twice that this person mentions about not allowing our Google to crawl links. So you could see that he doesn't want these two particular directories to be crawled by any user agent. So star is a regex for them. So it may, it means that there is something interesting here. And like you should always be cautious about this because. There, there was this one bug where what I found that there was this um, robots.txt, there was a directory in there. Probably I would make a write up of that as well. So there was this particular company on HackerWeb and they had this particular directory where uh, if you go to that, you would be dosed. I don't know what it was, but what happened? Uh, I saw, so sorry, I don't know how it functioned, but if you went to that link, you would you wouldn't be able to access the services for like some time for like five to ten minutes unless you either you change your IP or that time limit is exhausted. So I reported to it that uh, if a person could like paste that link into their forums or maybe publicly and or some other places. So a lot of people go to forums and click on links. So instantly it would be a DOS for a lot of people and your services won't be accessible. So they ordered I think around two fifty dollars for that. That was remember that was quite some time back but yeah so always look at robot.php for every website so as you could see that there's an admin.php where that particular this password thing was going on and now there's the admin.back.php error matching hash so there's some hash value and uh what this back is so it's 
a generic convention. So whenever people make a backup file of a PHP file, so they add this admin dot back dot PHP or maybe index dot back dot PHP. So it's good that if you add these to your um, word list, so a lot of these word lists already have that. But if you are checking, make sure you also check for these backup files. You might find something interesting there. There's nothing here, so yeah. There's this hash, so we would. There's, this is 11 KB, so we'll be exploring this in the second part of this. And if you see, the website is made in 2013, and this thing, and the person mentions that this was using something that was 10 years old. So we would have a look at this in the second part as to why he mentions 10 years old. It's pretty much in this. And so in the next video, we would see we would see how this like this hash value is being used and how we would be using this hash like whatever file this is we will figure out what the file is actually and then we will figure out how we could crack that hash using hashcat or online services as well so thanks a lot guys make sure you subscribe to the channel and share this video with everyone whom you think could get benefited out of this